Hey, what's up? It's recess time again. Anyways, I was scrambling my head between doing a lot of shit that I need to get going and my next video just to just for good measure they're trying it in there so yeah one time I'm talking about the importance of left and right political and social leanings and the next video I'm making a Duckman comic book reading yeah that's right deal with it I have my reasons anyway so in between that I remembered that I have a bunch of files that I I have of the audio that I haven't edited yet since like around two years already so I, I remember you know what J just edit those things real quick it just in bunches until you figure out something else more uh, to make so yeah oh, oh, oh yeah by the way the reason I made this quick note because this is issue number three and I like two years ago I was in a totally different scenario than from the one that I'm right now and I was recording somewhere else and I, the, the thing is I made a lot of audio files as much as I could long story short those videos those those things were recorded around two years ago or almost and I have discovered that some of those files are lost I since ever since that I changed my phone where I was recording I I saved up the files somewhere, but I can't find them, and they're they're gone. So there's I I, I recorded issue number one, two, and three, but one, two are gone. I can't find them, so I'm not I'm probably not gonna be able to find it. And that's the same thing happened with a couple of more comics that I was reading, and I have like one or two. So I'm just gonna I'm not gonna waste those files. I'm not gonna waste those files. I'm gonna post them there and if there's any interest for anybody to for me to to make to eventually read them again the other ones the lost ones I'll do it if not then I'll just leave, leave it at that I'll just leave it leave, leave, leave them there to have like stacked up uh, content that's it okay bye not bye uh, okay continuing enjoy the rest of the thing dog man private dick family man Top Comics, number three, by Stefan Petruchev, Craig Joe. Laffy, Uranus, do you smell butt? And we see the cover where you have a Fluffy and Uranus going savage for whatever reason that we're going to discover soon enough. They're um, barbecuing corn fed. All right. Night of the Living Duck. Stefan Petruccia, writer. Mike Delaphine, letter. Craig Joe, artist. This is a different artist, right? Oh yeah, I can see it. This is a different artist. Uh, I don't want to be rude, but it's not as good as the previous ones. Don Allen Sakursky. Don, Don Allen Sakursky, cover artist. Carl Gafford, Gafford, colorist. Charles S. Novinsky. Rene... Witterstatter, Witterstatter, editors, Dogman, Volume One, Number Three, March 1995. Okay, nine. So this is, I, I still don't have it clear. I'm gonna have to check on, on the internet, to see what's up with that because it says, Volume One. This is Volume One, Number Three. The other one was Number Volume One, Number One from Three. Out uh, one of three, and. March, but this is March. The other one was from November, then December. This is March. I don't understand. Maybe, maybe it's just coincidence that I happen to have number one, and then another one that happens to be number two, and then another one that happens to be number three, but they're not related because there's no continuity. Anyways, just in only the first one said one part one of three, and these ones just say. One, two, and three, just by themselves. I don't know. I want to see the, what happens here in the story. Page number one. We find Fluffy and Uranus um, in front of uh, 
some kind of play or something. We see a curtain. There's somewhere in a stage or something like that. I don't know. Hello, there. my name is Fluffy, and this is my dear friend Uranus. The cats. Hey, yeah. Somebody is sharpening their nails. Also, they're doing hard like they're doing construction outside. Uh, who, who are you? Who are you? Hey, Caro, who are you? Angeles. Okay, yeah. She was um, sharpening her nails. Okay. I hope everybody can enjoy the ASMR for extra immersion. We faithfully, we faithfully serve the basic office of spiritual needs of our employer, Mr. Duckman. But whatever we stepping, but, but today we stepping briefly out of the safety area of Stanley's rules in order to issue a warning. What you are about to see may, may shock you. It is a tale of, of unrepentant evil, human terror, and gratuitous violence. Some scenes have even depicted graphic destruction of cute objects. We feel it is imperative for readers to realize the effect that exposure to this sort of media violence can have. Look what it did to our dear boss, Mr. Duckman, who's tortured but Loving soul, we pray for daily. <laughs> Who are you calling torture, you miserable shark with eyes? Remember, you're warned. And you see that dog man, uh, dog man, a uh, pulled Uranus. <laughs> <laughs> dog man pulled Uranus <laughs> to the cover, and uh, okay. Page two. Can you believe it? Can you, what was her? What was her voice? Can you believe it? We reached our liver finding traffic and reached the to reach the big company and a friend ribbon. What's that noise? Oh, it's a saxophone. It's a saxophone. Okay, I, I, I get it. For ambience, they know that I'm reading a comic, a Duckman comic, so they decided to, to play the saxophones for, for ambience and ASMR. We reached our lights, finding traffic to reach the big opening of Ravenous Toys, and there's no one here. What is that, a fart? I don't know. You said it, Grandma. There are you know, empty shelves everywhere. Mambo! I feel an old foreboding coupled with an inexplicable sense of loss. I thought if I were standing here amidst the ruins of, a, of an entire culture. I know what you mean, Charles. Here's a rite of death, Chopper. But no signs of greedy young cannibal CD that had picked our Philistine taste. Okay. And, uh, is that supposed to be a helicopter? That looks like a blob of... That looks like a... Phone booth shoved in a pile of play doh with a fan on top. That doesn't look. Mm. Oh, Bernice! Oh yeah, it was a it was a fart. I see that. Oh, Bernice! May I put Grandma down now? Sure, Jax. Uh, and she's farting. And there's a there's a green rabbit. Guy zombie thing? I'm sorry. I'm too tired to carry you anymore. Why do I, I sound like Cyrex? <laughs> I sound like Cyrex. <laughs> my my Ajax voice is just just like vanilla Cyrex. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I'm I'm too tired to carry you anymore. Let me alone. <laughs> <laughs> now it's time for you to feel the pain. Shut up! Shut up, you kid! I'm tired of this horrible. I I didn't notice that. My fucking Ajax voice is just Cyrex. <laughs> Wait, Ajax. I think she's trying to tell us something. <laughs> And uh, what 
what was she was what was she trying to tell them? I don't know. Oh yeah. Yeah. And we, we see that the monster bunny green zombie guy attacks and she's, and it's chasing uh, on on Bernice. Wow, what a clever display! And then uh, on on Bernice gives her an uh, a, a elbow bumper uh, super flex crusher attack and uh, turn, uh, puts the bunny down. Good thing those teeth are just painted on it. Eat elbow bunny. Uh -huh. it's, it seems that we're hiding and waiting for uh, You can see the pain and I'm tired of this harassment. Let me alone. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Are those the toys? Are those all the toys that were missing from the shelves and now they're alive? And uh, Grandma keeps farting and... Uh, they got all the exit black! Quick everybody, in here! Oh, okay, okay, she's farting. The Grandma's farting and you will see a, a, a text there. Hypothetical translation. That's what I was trying to tell you. Okay. Next page. I wonder if this is what the TV feels when I put my face up against it. <laughs> Don't panic, children. I'm sure we're we'll safe here. <laughs> At least I think so. And the helicopter, they're inside the helicopter, and the monsters, the monster toys are like chasing them. And uh, the helicopter is alive too. Why? What was the helicopter doing in the toys? Uh, fully functioning. I don't know. I don't know who said that. And we see, we hear, we hear a. And they get out of the building. I'm guessing. The toy store? They, we see them crush a window and escape. And is this supposed to be the mall or something? It looks like a downtown like view or something. But it, it says there's a there's a sign that just says eat there. I don't know what. I'm guessing this is the mall and they escape the toy store. And uh, we see the bunch of, of like haunting, haunted demonic toys. Speed demon, the doll that looks like Chucky a little bit, the budget Chucky, uh, budget, ah, uh, looks, this is uh, like a Tiny Toon guy, more of the toys, one that resembles a Puppet Master, a little bit, I think that's Puppet Master, or no, Evil Toys, Evil Toys, I think that's the other movie, and the title, the title of the, of the issue, Night of the Living Duck. Who's talking here? Who who is talking here? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, Mr. Darkman, Mr. Darkman. And Darkman is sleeping. Wake up, Mr. Darkman. What? You can't sleep your whole life away, is it? It wouldn't be right. And we see Darkman fully waking up. It's funny because he doesn't have any eyes. His eyes are his spectacles, but you see right here that he opened his eyes and his spectacles, his, his spectacle eyes are in front of him. This is a pretty interesting POB that just makes everything more confusing. See this? Yes, sir. It's a letter amputer. Catch! And, uh, and he stabs and we, he stabs them in to the wall, and while Cornfed just doesn't give a fuck. <sighs> Crazy kid, um, I forgot that man's voice again. What was the voice? Just like in New York, right? Crazy kids, I'm kind of crazy kids. I'm kind of glad I haven't found a way to permanently to destroy them. Once, twice, ten times. It's just still not enough. 
Well then, wonder what sort of surprises the war has to offer today. And we see a bunch of chaos outside. Oh, the to oh, okay, okay, okay. The toys are are uh, attacking the snake. Uh, uh, <coughs> my dry, my, my my throat is so dry, and I'm not even halfway through the fucking comic. How am I gonna handle this? A cop is fighting a bunch of monster toys. And we see, what's the name of that clay character? I don't remember. But it's his wrist right there. And everybody's like screaming. Uh, as, uh, well, nothing new under the sun. I think the dog will just sit back and enjoy a nice hot, oh, a nice hot cup of hava. Of cup of, cup of hava. How are you gonna pronounce Java? 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 I don't know. Wonder how the kids are doing. Again, if everybody was wondering why my voice is not like Jason Alexander, it's because I can't do a Jason Alexander, sorry. <laughs> Spit him out! Spit him out now! Oh no! The twins were knocked out when they ran over to the last police officer. We've got to get some help. See, there's a TV in here. Made chance. We can learn more about our strange predicament. That's right. The fact of the matter is, senders uh, who eat nothing at all will stay in gain weight. While well, the righteous can eat whatever they like and not put a single pound. So, the, the next time you see someone who's so beast, remember they leave a and it's their own fault. Uh, the miracle diet. Uh, from your lips to God's hips, the Miracle Diet. It's a, a commercial for Miracle Diet? The, the guy is coming out of the TV? Uh, what? Special report. Just some sick freak of nature. Toys everywhere are coming to life and hunting us for whatever protein or overindulged flesh in the provide. This should be the end of civilization as we. Oh well, Fred Tunes. Ladies and gentlemen, a great miracle has occurred. All of our wonderful bestest friends, the toys, have come to life. Please cooperate with them to the best of your ability and be thankful to be so blessed. We see a doll talking. I am guessing she took over the place of the reporter of the big titty reporter lady girl. I'm, so, I'm guessing that was supposed to be the case. See that? Everything's just fine. What's going on? Are those guys drunk? What was, what is, what's those sounds? Are they drunk or dead? I'm guessing they're drunk because they have a bottle. Oh, advertisement. Have yourself a macho On sale now. The complete collection. Go back to your shelves, go back to your shelves! All five hard to find, critically acclaimed, uh, uh, ultra volume, fully painted covers by Simon Beasley and John Walton. A brand new backup story, 128 full color pages. Top comics. Your brain is. Do you feel the trappings of still life behavior melting away from your, from your psyche? What you will be, what I believe I do. <laughs> and we see, uh, ooh, we see Fluffy and Uranus turning evil, and they grow things, and while Cornfed is speechless, sitting in his desk still. I'm going to get a fresh cup of coffee from the deli. The stuff here is tastes like decaying flesh, yeah. <coughs> oh my god. Ah, Doc Man's voice makes me, this voice. It's making me thirsty. <clears throat> Dog man's voice makes me thirsty. Actually, it makes my throat sore. Well, okay. So Dog man is going going out of the office while Uranus and Fluffy are just fully evil and ready to kill Corbett. Dog man slams the door. Don't do too much work while I'm gone. <laughs> and Cornfed is fighting the <coughs> the bear guys. <coughs> what were they? What were the bears? Boys or girls? Or boy and girl? I think they were boy and girl, right? I'm not sure. 
This is nice. I'm actually having one of those rare days when I feel at peace. Nothing's perfect, but nothing's terrible either. Ah, Every while everybody's like having the most like chaotic day ever. And there's a car crash. <laughs> the dog is driving to the car. Hey, I'm walking here. There's Barney? Yeah, yeah, right. Now sugar. And Big Bird? Yeah, oh, damn, that's hot. Nearly scaled my manly bill. What's that mean? I don't know. What's going on? What is this page? Is this a comic within a comic? Uh, I think this scenario seriously conflicts with Einstein. It does seem to dispel the, need, the notion that you can't be an uninvolved observer. What is this? What is this page? I don't understand. Let me see. Are the twins supposed to be having some kind of other bodily experience? And the comic is manifesting that while writing them seeing the comic page? I think that's supposed what I think that's supposed to be represented. I think that's what's supposed to be represented here. I don't understand. This is a confusing ass page. Hey Jack, that's the end of the world. No, Aunt Bernice. It's just my mother in the car on Naked Night. What? Ah, uh, what? <laughs> Maybe it's that the twins can see this. I don't understand this fucking page. Uh, see a construction outside. What are they doing? Let me hold on. Yeah, like, why is this story called Night of the Living Duck? When the whole thing is, takes place in, during the day. I think that's what's happening. Um, the twins sort of got out of their body and they're reading the comic book in which they are in. I think that's what's happening. Well, time to get back to the office and get some more shut eye. What, what happened? If that's a rat, I'm suing. Like, I don't pay enough rent for this dump. Okay, something grabbed our dog man's uh, leg, like toe. Yeah, what the hell is that a dog's head? Oh, the doll, the Barbie, super big titty Barbie um, doll was biting Doug Man's toe. Hey, and you see a scene straight out of uh, Small Soldiers with all the dolls just like jumping to try to kill Doug Man. You see um, Mermaid, Leotard. Barbie, Mermaid Barbie, the Norse Barbie, and Colonialist bar Barbie, what was, what was this? Barbie supposed to be. Uh, business Barbie, Ballerina Barbie, Princess Barbie, I don't know. And boom, uh, Dark Man nearly escapes. He slams the door shut. Oh god, the world's gone mad. I hate it when that happens. And uh, he turns into, he splits in two. <laughs> no, not really. Just like starts nailing the door shut. We 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 need we got to stay put until help can reach us. Buffy, Uranus, cover the windows, cornfed. See what you can get in the radio. Uh -huh. And a well, Duck Man turns around to discover that Fluffy and Uranus are cooking cornfed. Beta, he very bravely. Escapes breaking out of the apartment. Mm. Very brave, dog man. Very respectable of you. Wait a minute. Wait, I can't leave my partner. My body corn fit at the mercy of those monsters. You know what? That sound outside is very fitting to the comic because it sounds like there, there's a, like a racket outside. Just like is happening in the comic. So that's actually very fitting. Besides, my exit's blocked. Oh yeah, Dog Man uh, stopped flat and then he turns over, turns back, comes back to the office. All right, don't take corn fed or I'm docking your pay. What? What is that? Now the time has come to fix. To taste the flesh not yet deceased. Says uh, Fluffy. No wait, please don't. Uh, children, take them. So sweet. The blood of life. Hey, wait a minute. What the hell am I worried about? They made out of felt. Says Dogman, and what happens? What the fuck's. Well, 
Disney doing here? In uh, um, shorts, Mickey shorts, the hairy legs. What? What is going on? What is this page? I wonder what Scott McCloud would make of all this. Look, isn't that Walt Lance, the man who brought us silly seal? Yeah, and Doc Man is fighting the uh, corn and um, fluffy and Uranus off cam off um, panel. I don't get it, Corny. Why didn't you put up more of a fight? Well, it's just that they were just so damn cute. <laughs> and somebody, you know, totally crushes through the the wall. No, hello, I'm talking to you. They're coming for us. The fire escape is our only chance. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Somebody says, maybe they both say, they're coming for us. And uh, that man says, the fire escape is our only chance. <sighs> okay, what's the order in this page? I think Walt Disney here is talking. Why is he here? After spending their lifetime making the world safe and anthropomized animals, Furries. You meant furries. I couldn't stand it idly while Fluffy and Uranus were tortured. I used my influence with Hasbro. <laughs> Ancient god of playthings, soon the world will be ruled by stuffed animals. You're destroying mankind because that's mean to the office help. Don't you find that a little extreme? Why, Corny? Why is this happening? Hard to say. Maybe it's a divine retribution. For centuries of men since, or maybe all the cute creatures we create for our own pleasure just got sick of being toyed with. Uh, the toys are just like coming at 20, Felix, Snow White. All right, I apologize. If he apologizes, I'll put a stop to this. Or maybe it's just nature's way to saying hi. And Fluffy and Uranus are coming back to strike them on the back. Don't you two ever learn. Get back inside before I pulled you in a muffle iron. Then run. That haste. Okay, fun's over. Yeah. And Fluffy pokes him in the peck. Move it, move it. How could they do this to me after all I've done for them? Faster, go any faster. They're climbing down the escalator. Duck man, let go of my pants or we'll... Ah! Yeah, they fall all the way down. They fall down the crash. They fall into a batch of a veterinarian. Dad, Dad, wake up! Who was it saying that? Huh? Charles Mambo? Oh, okay, it was Charles and Mambo. It's us, Dad. At my admittedly unusual circumstances. But we've got something important to tell you. <coughs> Say what? Charles Mambo, my son. Oh, thank you, man, Addy. I will never awaken from this nightmare of history. Why won't they speak to me? Why? Perhaps if you put them back in the tank so they could breathe? Whoops. Oh, uh, sorry. <laughs> Rose got off mine. Shortly. So all of this wanton destruction is because of me. And all I have to do is apologize. And hurry, Dad. There's only four pages left. Uh, is it? Is, are there? Okay. Uh, I'm almost done. Okay. All right. Far be it for me to put my pretty sadistic joys ahead of the fate of humanity. I'll do it! Wait! So it decides to it starts talking in front of all the toys. Too long! Our hunger's been buried! Tonight will feast us last! I know! My intense hardness, little man. My wife is dead. My children barely relate to me. I am dominated by my sister in law. I'm so twisted inside that nonsense. The only pleasure I, I feel is when I attack, humiliate, and hurt those who are smaller and helpless and, yes, cuter than me. There's nothing I can do to make up for what I know. Nothing. Cholis, stop doing that. No, Cholis. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. You gotta damage that. Nuh-uh. No. There's nothing I can do to make up for that. I know nothing but Fluffy. Your maintenance. I want you to know from the bottom of my heart. Uh, uh, the hell with it. Burn. Burn, you dollars. Burn. <laughs> and it burns everybody. The hell with all of you. <laughs> I guess we'll be staped down. Or not. Or two. Let's get back to our bodies and try something else. Why did Dogman do that? Is because he's a dick? 
I guess. Charles, Mambo, you're awake. Just in time for the X-Files. What's the plan? It's a little known fact that on his death, Ward Nantz was cryogenically preserved in the egocentric hope that one day he might be restored to life. No anti-Buddhist. The very notion floats the concept that the cycle of samsara is to be escaped. I know about the cycle of samsara. Not only that, but his body was buried at, at his request beneath the popular rock star Madonna. What? And they, they, they break in Madonna's house? And we see that she's sleeping with a horse? Is that Madonna? What? <laughs> what? So I figure if we destroy his body, his spirit may lose his influence on the material world. But you're assuming his soul is somehow dependent to his body. An argument that every major religion would disagree with. Ward Lance. Oh yeah. A Madonna. What? So ma did you break in inside Madonna's house that happened to be nearby? And um, she had Walt Disney's body under her bed where she was sleeping and having sex with a horse girl? So, making Madonna a furry, officially? I'm not, I'm too. Uh-huh, and, and they run away scared. Wait, wait, Blue, I'll fix everything. And I forgot that was Disney's voice again. And so, all across the world, the toys return to normal. See you real soon. Why? Because I have to. Uh, okay. Beautiful, beautiful. It's over, Doc, man. You can stop now. The dog man is burning everybody. I'm sorry, what did you say? Charlie's. Oh, yeah, she climbed the wall. I'm sorry, what did you say? And he accidentally burnt a uh, carpet. Whoa! Hey, sorry, Connie got a little carry away. Do you smell bacon? And Cornfed is just standing there toasted. Next day. At the Dogman Detective Agency. <sighs> and turns out Dogman was sleeping the whole time. It was just a dream. Hey, <laughs> Mr. Jeffy, we were just having a healthy little prank. These nights are just bourbon. <laughs> oh, yeah, because Dogman woke up and saw them with the axes and the knife and they were just pranking him, they were just punking him. <laughs> and hey, this water pistol isn't really water, it's acid. <laughs> and they start massacring the people the going, yeah. oh my God. All right, that was the story, this, this story was actually pretty cool. The, this story was my favorite of the three of them because it was so wacky and stupid. Didn't make any, it was the wackiest one. The fucking, like the goofiest one, the wacky of them all. I liked it. You know, I wish the art would have been as, uh, like, as good as the. Oh, yeah, and that's the cops right there coming coming down for Dogman because, he's, because of, of his. Uh, because of murder. Somebody called the cops. Okay. I, it's funny that every sound outside corresponds uh, coincidentally with what's happening in the comics whenever I read the comics. <sighs> okay, so that was the end. I liked it. The art, the art wasn't as good as the other ones, but it was pretty. The story was, I think, was the was the better one. It was my favorite. Six new reasons why these trading cards are the finest in the universe. And <laughs> <laughs> I can't get enough of 90s then the. 90s guy right here just three arms and the bullets and vests and ponytail and gun and the, oh my god it's so fucking it's like the embodiment of the 90s i love it <laughs> Top finest in this universe calendar series tops trading cards savage rigging it's covered over the little 1994 Lost, Slum, Ranger, and Twon Tonto, Art Found, Poster Prints, and Trading Cards Available from the 1940 Gun Incorporated Long Ranger Trading Card Series. Comes 12 images not included in the original 48 card series. Art by Charles H. Steinbacher and Edwin J. Petit. 
of 12 unpublished series are now 40 to 5 inch to 12 inch in limited edition print. Each set includes 12 nearly created Lone Ranger trading cards, all of the style and design of the original 1940 series cards not sold separately. First edition limited to 1000 sets, 120% of 12 prints with 12 cards. Please add 595 for postage and handling. The offer expires May, May 31, 1995. Tops Comics. Trademark Lone Ranger is registered to Paladin Limited Partnership in, in the United States Patent and Trademark Office and other countries. All rights reserved. Decide to have a coupon there that you could have sent if you if you were back in 1995 and you kept the Lone Ranger. The Long Ranger and Tonto, the Lodge Trade Paperback. Crew again in the sweeping adventure that begins with the explosive breakup of Long Ranger and Tonto. Written Joe R. Lance, Lansdale, Penciler, Timothy Truman, Inker, Rick Magyar, Rapamon Cover, Trim Truman, The Finest of Entertainment, Dabs Palagin, Special Collector's Edition, Star Wars Galaxy Magazine, Issue 2. Original role-playing fiction from West Kings. A whole new comic stories from Dark Horse. Excerpts from Star Wars radio dramas. What was those radio, radio dramas? I'm curious about that. I want to hear those. Are they available somewhere on the internet? In YouTube, I'm guessing? Maybe? I'm curious. News, interviews, and sneak peeks. And the new games and toys. Painted cover by Dame Dorman. Plus, look for the deluxe. Collector's Edition direct market version of Poly, Gra Poly Bag with a Millennium Falcon poster, Star Wars Masturbation Preview with Trading Card, Top's Finest Star Wars Trading Card Number Two, and X Files Number One Ashcan comic from Top's Lucasfilm Ltd. All rights reserved under the Alternative Edition Top's Company Incorporated. Top side February Sally Curbs section. One of the questions I'm getting sick of being asked a lot lately is when is Top Comics going to do some original stuff? I realize that no one is trying to intentionally upset me and they're tr just trying to and they're just committing to the fact that overwhelming majority of Top Comics titles are based on movies or TV shows. And they're just wondering, well, we'll be creating comics featuring all new characters created specifically for us. Well, here's what bugs me about that question. It overtly implies that what we're currently publishing isn't original. When I scan the, the rest of the comics, I see dozens of top-selling comic book titles are being introduced by talented artists and writers who didn't create the characters they're currently writing and drawing. Jerry Seigel. Seigel? 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 Seigel, I'm guessing, right? Isn't writing the latest Superman titles? Stan Lee hasn't written the Fantastic Four, The Mighty Thor, or The Incredible Hulk in at, 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 at least a decade. Who's Stan Lee? The Incredible Hulk in at least a decade. Step Derko left The Amazing Spider-Man long before most of Spider-Man current fans were even born. And when when's the last time Bob Bain wrote and drew Batman? Or just another comic companies seek to get the very best writers and artists to create their creative characters. We, at Top Comics, do the same. We decided to match talented creators and well-known characters that are truly passionate about. This month, for example, Dracula returns to Top Comics in a crossover with the Frankenstein monster in an all-new three-issue series by Roy Thomas, Claude St. Aubin, and Alan Nunes with breathtaking covers by Mike Mignola. Not only are, are these basic characters by virtually not standard. So he's bitching about people just... Okay, I get it. On sale now from Top Comics, Exo Squad number two, The Frankenstein Dracula War, one of three, Dogman three, Night of the Living Dog, the one we just read. Jurassic Park Adventures number two, The X-Files number two. Oh, shit. Okay, Jay Lee, cover, interview, and portfolio. Official Collector's Edition, Star Wars Galaxy Magazine, number three. Only in Collector's Direct Market Edition. The Empire Strikes Back, White, white Vision Card Zero. Sorry, I'm distracted. <laughs> Star Wars Cap Zero, Top Finest Chrome Card, number three. That illustration is pretty cool. Why is, why is that Gamorrean guard? Wait. All those Gamorrean guards are wearing Stormtrooper armor? Why? Aliens issue favorite ugly citizens from all points of the galaxy spotlight in the first of all aliens issue. Exclusives. 
It kind of makes all new tales from Moss Eisley and the two main space for role playing game adventure with all new alien characters, novel, etc. from all the new character, characters novel except except from the upcoming alien field children of the jedi poster eight page field guide to all popular movie characters number two still available for a reorder bust bust out with the barbie twins bust out with the barbie twins who the fuck are the barbie twins damn they're cute i'm not gonna lie who the fuck were the barbie I never knew the Barbie twins. They were hot as fuck. Double Trouble coming to source March 1995. The absolutely most popular twin models in the world. The most popular twin models? Well, 1995. I was too little to fucking know about these things, to be honest. Damn, though. And twins? The most popular twin models in the world. Go somewhere they'll never, they've never been before. Their own comic adventure. They had a comic? What was it about? They're spies or something? Shane and Sia are blonde, tanned, and pink. <laughs> God damn it. Only in the 90s. Or 80s. Or 70s. Shane and Sia are blonde, tanned. <laughs> <laughs> tanned and packing pistols. But make no mistake, their adventures are for all ages, not adult comics. Aww. Okay. No wonder that didn't go anywhere. Who the fuck cares about that? They're just like having shenanigans, like sexy tween shenanigans and then mischief? Like spy mischief? Uh, feature story, Rob Contra, Steve Faster and Rich Larson. Flip story, Rob Conte, Matt Hartley, Bill Matthews. Barbie Twins Comics, copyright, and TN, and trademark, 1994 bar, Barbie Twins Incorporated. All rights reserved likeness and used by permission exclusively licensed by Studio Ch Chikara, the Tops Company Incorporated. So they made a comic of this, of this uh, twins, this like hot twins that were the most famous in the 90s. I don't remember them at all. I never saw, I don't remember references to them. I don't remember Pamela Anderson. I remember Carmen Electra. I remember, uh, what's her name? What's her name? Um, uh, what's her name? The, the, the hot girl that, that was uh, the host of, you know, that model. Tyra. I remember Tyra. I remember, uh, I mean, all the 90s, like, hotties that were, like, the hotties in the 90s. I don't remember these two. They were fine as hell. I don't know. I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see the comments, just to see how fucking terrible they are, to be honest. I'm gonna look for the Barbie twins and... Are they still alive? I hope so. I mean, they're probably old as fuck, but... I'm gonna look for the... I'm gonna... I wanna know more. What the fuck's... <sighs> Coming soon to the galaxy near you. Tops, Black Vision, Star Wars. Light years ahead of its time. Introducing Tops White, Tops White Vision, Star Wars on sale now. Brand new training car, brand new technology. The complete Star Wars movie. Twelve. <laughs> this sound is so distracting. I lose my train of thought every single page. Doesn't matter. It's okay though. The complete Star Wars movie. 120 images never before seen in full frame. Super premium part, U UB coded both sides, holographic stamping, top finest case cards, top comics training cards, Star Wars trademark, Star Wars, Star Wars tra re registered trademark, and MD Natty Bar Lucas Man, LTD, all rights reserved, used under an authorization distributed by the Tops Company Incorporated, White Vision, the Tops Company Incorporated. How to drive comics, artists from Marvel and DC Comics show you how. How to drive comics. I used to have a book. I have it. I still have it. Uh, my brother-in-law gifted that book to me when I was like 19 years old because he knew I used to draw <sighs> that sound. Um, he learned that I, I, I used to like doing comics and I actually won a prize. Back in like 2005, I won a prize. 
I won an iPod mini in a drawing competition and uh, it wasn't necessarily comic based. I just made a comic and I won uh, an honorary like prize and I, won I got an iPod mini. And so it was like just to like encourage me to just like do something because I was like just like doing nothing. I was kind of a mess back then. And they were like, okay, let's just encourage him to do like do something positive. And he gave me like a box of a, one of one of those briefcases that are filled with like art supplies and a book by Dick 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 Gi Giordano. Is that his name? He's a very famous, uh, super famous one, one of those like legends uh, in comics and I remember it was useful. I never really did too much of it. I remember I just, the thing that I actually checked was the part where he talked about perspective, like spatial perspective to draw like more accurate um, perspective in depth. Yeah, I actually learned a few tricks from that. The rest, I didn't really check that much, to be honest. The The book is, is still in pristine condition, to be honest, because I barely used it. But, I mean, it's cool. It's very similar to this. Here's what they're saying about how to draw comics. Stan Lee said, oh, Great, this guy hasn't merely published a how to... Is that how Stan Lee used to sound like? Great. <laughs> Still, this guy hasn't merely published a how-to book. They're virtually performing a public service, handsomely illustrated by top artists in the field and interestingly written hints and tricks that both professional illustrator and beginners are sure to enjoy and profit with <laughs> sexier. Here's just an example of what you learn how to draw super muscles, how to draw dynamic action figures, how to create cost, super costumes, shortcuts to draw in perspective. That's the, that's, that, was the, that was the main issue that I used to have back then. And that's where I actually used the, the book as guidance. The rest I, I knew I, I, I didn't really need to check because it was something that I could just learn by myself. But the perspective, I kind of needed some guidance for that. And it, the book actually helped. Secrets of creating new characters. Shortcuts. I, I've never had a problem creating characters. That's that was one of my main strong points ever since I was a kid. So shortcuts to drawing, clothing, and clothing too. Yeah, I have problems with that, with like foldings and stuff like that. I actually need to. Yeah, I hate drawing like clothings and fabric and those type of textures. So yeah, that would actually help how to draw comics. It's a skillfully created, fully illustrated book by simple step-by-step -step instructions on how to create and draw your on your own comics. Start now upon the road to mastering comic art by ordering how to draw comics. Everything you need to know to get started. Great Sky Incorporated blah, 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 blah. Uh, information. And we finally end with the back cover advertisement. The product taking the world by storm, the adventure taking the galaxy by force. Mm, collectible, valuable. <laughs> sure, man, <laughs> valuable. <laughs> this advertisement did not age well at all. Official Star Wars caps. We see caps, Star Wars caps. Darth Vader, Greedo, Jabba the Hutt, Jawas, Boba Fett. Blue Skywalker and Leia, Yoda, the Rancor, uh, C-3PO and R2-D2 just gushing at the tops of the, of the, the breathtaking side of the caps. Only Lucasfilm Ultra-Rife Mail Caps King. The only Lucasfilm Ultra-Rife Mail Caps King. 64 character caps, 32 special premium insert, insert caps. See your caps and use cap credits to receive special Star Wars collectible all year long. Star Wars registered is trademark 1994 1995 Lucasfilm LTD all rights reserved under the authorization of the Tops Company. We are done. We are done, and sadly, uh, this is the last com Duck Man, Private Dick, Family Man comic that I have. I only had three, so that's it. This is, this is it. It's over. I'm done. I could read. Some if I ever if I ever get some more I'll read them. Uh, I'll just have to look on the flea uh, around on the flea market to see if I get lucky one day. Who knows? Maybe I could look for them online and read them online, but 
I don't want to do that because the whole shtick here is that I read the comics that I have in my collection. So they, they will have to be a demand for, the, for more in order for me to like change the, change the, 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 the procedure a little bit, change the, 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 the dynamic here and, uh, and like re-download it, the comics, but we'll see. I don't think so. I don't, I don't think I'm going to do that anytime soon. Who knows? Uh, I'm tired and my throat is super dry. I need to drink some water. Oh, God. Uh, bye.